there's a game plan that uh, after Joshua being so big and so tall and having so much uh, reach advantage and height advantage that he has to use that to win the fight. Usyk is very smart, very technical, very fast. I think the game plan that I'm going to prepare him for is it's the way that Usyk could, could be beat. Main thing is a happy fighter is a dangerous fight. I'm in a good place. I feel good. I'm happy. I'm about to start training now. So. Yeah, and Garcia is actually here now, so we're just working on a few things. So it's not about changing style, it's about his experience and what he knows at championship level, etc. And adding that to the camp is, is priceless in my opinion. And yeah, I'm in a good place. I'm about to crack on training now. Hey, Ringsiders, what is going on? This is your host, Boxing's Objective Observer, and welcome back to Ringside Stories. Feel free to like and share it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you enjoy the content. The buildup for Usyk versus Joshua 2 has gotten interesting as the former two-time unified world champion just hired renowned Mexican-American boxing trainer Robert Garcia. Grandpa was awarded the 2011 Ring Magazine Trainer of the Year and is well-respected in the fight community in and outside of boxing. Uh, Robert Garcia is a very good trainer. Doesn't take no crap. Uh, does it, he's not a hype man. He'll tell you straight. And that's something that AJ needs. You're bringing in a guy that's going to tell you the genuine truths. It's like you're not doing very good. Or you know, to have someone like Robert Garcia in the camp is just a, it's, it's a very good decision. Down to earth, humble, uh, knows, knows what he's doing. He's confident and uh, he's going to help me out a lot. It seems like he's, you know he's got a good he's got a good set of fighters. Robert Garcia can, can bring into the corner knowledge, experience, um, well level um, fights. What he's already competed in and been in. One of the best trainers in the game today, if not the best trainer. Why? Because he's made champions left and right, and he's going to continue to. Today we'll discuss Robert Garcia's qualities as a boxing trainer. But questions to you, ringsiders. Do you think Robert Garcia is a good choice for Joshua? What do you actually think of Robert Garcia as a boxing trainer? Do you think Garcia can truly make a difference for Usyk versus Joshua too? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get into it. Number one, mentality. He needs to change his, his attitude in, in the ring. He needs to be mean. He can get hit and smile. Yeah. That happened with him against Usyk in the last round. Like giving credit to his opponent. You gotta be mad. You gotta you gotta get mad because you're getting hit. He needs to have that, that mentality, the 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 killer instinct. But what exactly does Robert Garcia as a trainer bring to the table? Number two, trainer's resume. Although he's not that old, Robert Garcia is 47 years of age, just had trained over 10 reigning or former world champions. Nonito Doner who Robert Garcia assisted winning three of his four weight division world championships. What a couple of punches. Tremendous uppercut and the left hook to put him down. He has one of the best left hooks in the business today. When he hits him with that, it's usually lights out. Donito Donaire with a counter left after absorbing a right. He's on top of the world tonight. More recently, Robert Garcia prepared 140-pounder Jose Ramirez to successfully unify and capture the WBO world title and just fell short in the first ever 140-pound undisputed world championship in the Four Bell era. I believe it was a left hook. There it is right there. Caught Hooker backing up, which is the last thing you want to do if you have the edge. How about closing the show? Look at Ramirez. Robert Garcia revived hard-hitting Marcos Maidana. After a loss to Devon Alexander in February 2012, Robert Garcia led Chino Maidana to three stoppages before dominating the then undefeated three-weight world champion Adrian Broner. Another right hand! Broner goes down for the first time in his career! He's hurt back and he's hurt! And he threw a weird shot. It looked like he was coming to the body, but he came up top and like, ooh, shit. It's like, good shot. So I, when I got up, though, yeah, that bitch hit hard, man. Maidana solved the problem, crowning himself the WBA world champion at welterweight. Time I, I landed a punch, I felt that I was hurting him, and I just kept going. He also hit very hard, so I had to be very careful. Then Marcos Maidana went into a world title unification match with Floyd Mayweather Jr., pushing the then pound-for-pound -pound king for 12 rounds in what proved to be one of the toughest fights in Money May's professional career. Maidana's rugged and awkward fighting style proved effective against the technically sublime Mayweather. Mayweather versus Maidana won is an excellent blueprint for Anthony Joshua as it draws parallels with the undefeated Oleksandr Usyk in their rematch. It must be said though, Chino was a tough battle-hardened warrior who never got stopped as a pro, who had a better work rate 
and certainly much better punch resistance than AJ. However, in terms of mindset, in terms of being ferocious, Anthony Joshua has to tap into his inner warrior, his inner Chino Maidana per se, and who better to guide Joshua than the man who helped Marcos Maidana regain a world championship. Number three, former world champion. For nine years, Robert Garcia himself was a professional fighter competing in the 126 and 130 pound division, finishing with a professional record of 34 wins, three losses, 25 wins coming by way of stoppage. Garcia won the IBF world title at super featherweight and made two successful title defenses before losing his belt and undefeated record to two-weight world champion Diego Chico Corrales. Robert Garcia also shared the ring with former Olympic gold medalists and multi-weight division world champions Joel Casemayor as well as the golden boy Oscar De La Hoya, even though Garcia faced De La Hoya in sparring. In this case, Robert Garcia knows his way around the ring not just as a trainer but also as a fighter as a former world champion. Number four, new challenge. So Robert Garcia knows what it takes to be a boxing world champion. When it comes to credentials as a trainer, Grandpa has the experience training multiple world champions. The only gamble for Anthony Joshua is Garcia's lack of experience training a heavyweight. Having a heavyweight champion is, is, is the top of the line, you know what I mean? I'm excited, I always thought maybe heavyweights is not a good idea because their way of training is, is a lot different than a lightweight. You know, and we're used to doing a lot of rounds in mid, speed, uh, running a lot more. You know, with heavyweights, it's a different story. But, you know, the two weeks I've spent with him in December and then again two months ago, he works as hard as any lightweight. This opportunity came and uh, I love that challenge, you know, especially coming off a loss and getting the rematch. It's a great challenge for me. I know it's not going to be easy, but I'm going to do whatever it takes to to get Anthony to become champion again. And with Usek versus Joshua 2 being planned for either July or August 2022, Grandpa doesn't have much time to mold Anthony Joshua to his liking or to work on an extensive game plan. But let's face it, the game plan for Anthony Joshua was already revealed months ago. And I'm done with losing. I'm done with trying to learn the boxing, sweet science. I'm just, I've just putting it all together now and rolling with it. If you like it, Come watch if you don't, don't watch, but whether the ref likes my style or not, he might get thrown on the floor in the next fight because this is war, innit? Can Robert Garcia assist Anthony Joshua to get back to his winning ways, becoming a three-time unified world heavyweight champion? You know, before he even lost a fight, I would say that I, talent-wise, I think he's the best heavyweight, but he needs to be in a place in the gym with trainers, with other fighters that are gonna push him. The fact Grandpa knows what it takes to be a world champion himself and as a world-class trainer with the tools to help utilize Anthony Joshua's offensive ability could offer the heavyweight division not just excitement but also an explosive outcome in Usyk versus Joshua 2. Number five, excitement. The old saying is the right hand can take you around the block but a good jab will take you around the world and that secured another world championship belt. Before Anthony Joshua focused more on being a boxer i.e. fighting behind a jab, AJ was known for overpowering his opponents up close and mid-range. For proof, look no further than the fights against Charles Martin, who Joshua destroyed inside two, which won AJ the IBF world title in just his 16th professional fight. Vladimir Klitschko, who of course was a skilled boxer himself, dangerous Russian Alexander Povetkin, and even before his world title run, his highly spirited fight against amateur rival Dillian White, aka the body snatcher, when Anthony Joshua's punch resistance was better and most importantly possessed a mean streak, which seemed to have disappeared after his first pro loss at the hands of Andy Ruiz Jr. Robert Garcia has cornered fighters with that mean streak, fighters who won by anything but textbook boxing. Can Grandpa actually transfer some of that experience to Anthony Joshua? With Anthony Joshua, the trainer cannot be afraid of him, cannot be, you know, a yes man. You have to, if, if, if Anthony hires me as a trainer, he's, he's the main guy, you know, he's the main guy. But you, you hire me, I'm the boss. You're doing what I'm telling you to do. You're gonna train the way I want you to train. And you're gonna follow instructions. 
If you're not, then choose somebody else. The potential to get the most out of AJ, or in this case, to get AJ back to his natural mean ways is there. Question is, can Anthony Joshua actually produce on the night when it matters the most against the highly skilled former undisputed cruiserweight world champion, Alexander Usyk? Again, ringsiders, what do you think of Robert Garcia as a boxing trainer? Do you think Robert Garcia is a good choice for Joshua? Let us know in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, we make boxing content through backstories, previews, and much more. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell as it helps out the channel a lot, i.e. inspire us to make more quality content for y'all. As always, thanks so much for your support and welcome to Ringside Stories. If you've done that already, you're amazing. We already know that you are the true undisputed world champion. Till next time, Ringsiders, this is your host, Boxing's Objective Observer with Ringside Stories. Thanks for watching and have a legendary day.